Well, hi to everyone. Um, the, the recipe I'm bringing up today is called croquettes, is chicken croquettes. I know croquettes can be made with different flavors. Today I'm bringing chicken croquettes. Um, I know very well in, in UK, it's been, they are made with, um, with potato. The filling is with potato. But we, in Spain, we making with bechamel, a thick bechamel. This is a request from some, some of my followers in my YouTube or fan page in Facebook or my website. But also I wanted to bring it because I, for me it's delicious. I, I love this dish. It, it's very popular to have as a tapas, as a tapas in, in many bars and restaurants, but also it's been made across many houses um, in, 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 in Spain. So this is Chefo versus Grana and um, we're gonna cook it together. Well, so for the first things we're going to do is to take our chicken and make the chicken stock. If you don't have chicken stock bought in, that you can use it. But at this time, because we're going to use the, the meat of the, of the chicken to make the croquettes, I'm going to make my own stock, okay? With the legs of a chicken. Well, once the, the chicken is, is is cooked already, okay, I remove from the from the from the stock, and I'm gonna pass the stock into this container with this sieve. Well, now that we have the chicken stock, and um, what we're gonna do is gonna reserve the stock, and we're gonna pull all the meat from the bones of this chicken. As I have all the meat separate from the bones, it is important that not any bones goes inside, not any skin, and also that you pull it, flake it, the meat as much as you can, okay? It's gonna give a different texture into the croquette than if you get like chunky pieces. Well, so I have the ingredients ready for the next step, okay? And I have the unsalted butter and I have the chopped onions. I have my flour ready, chicken stock, milk, and the seasoning. The seasoning is salt, uh, ground white pepper, and nutmeg. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm gonna sweat the onions in the butter in a pan, then I will add my chicken, which is ready, or already pulled. I'm gonna add the chicken, I'm gonna cook it a little bit. Then after that, I will add the flour to make the roux. And then I will add uh, the rest of the ingredients. Very important is that chicken stock and milk, I will combine them in same, same quantities. They need to be hot before to start this process. It needs to be hot because that will help us to make the bechamel.
And now the filling is ready. Okay, I have it here. It's very hot. I'm gonna pass it into this container and I'm gonna put a clean film in contact and I'm gonna leave it in the fridge for 24 hours. This is a very important step. You need to leave it resting 24 hours before you can make the croquettes. Well guys, the filling for the croquettes has been resting for 24 hours in the fridge, okay? And now it's salted now. As you can see, the consistency of it. Yeah? To make our croquettes, okay? How do I do? Okay. Normally, I'd rather to put in a piping bag than cut exactly the diameter I want the croquette. And then I will fill it with the with the with the croquette mix and I will pipe it in lines so I can put that tray with the lines of croquette into the freezer once it is a little bit frozen so it's solid enough I'll take it out and I will cut it in the length I want so I have let's say pre-shaped before to start the breadcrumbs process like to put the, the panel process of flour eggs and breadcrumbs okay Another way is to do canals, or you can do with the hands, okay? Canals, if you have practice enough, it's just to shape it with two spoons until you have like, let's say, these shapes, more or less, okay? And then put it on a tray, and then when you have all, the, all them ready, put the breadcrumbs on, okay? Well, I've done some of them piping with the, with the piping bag and some of the others I've done with the spoons, okay? So, as I flour the, 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 the base of the tray, okay, before to start making the canals, then once they're done, then I sprinkle a little bit of flour on the top, yeah? Just a little bit. So now, now they would be ready to put in the egg and then in the breadcrumbs and that's it. That should be the process. And then after that, it's just to fry them and serve it. Well, once we have coated in breadcrumbs, once we have to do second time. This time not in flour, but then eggs and breadcrumbs again. Well guys, now the croquettes um, already, they're ready. Yeah, to be fried and um, so in a pan we're gonna put some um, sunflower oil it's important that it's sunflower oil you can use vegetable oil but sunflower oil is is, is stronger than that and then I mean resist a lot more the process of frying and um, we're gonna put it like um, not too not too hot it's, it's gonna be like 150 degrees yeah so the frying process is gonna be like 130 um, and because they are fresh they're not frozen then we're gonna cook it like two minutes inside, okay? Just turn it two minutes and then just turn it. And then remove it, put it in a, in a, in a, in a napkin to remove all the excess of fat and that's it, they're ready. So well, I put two fingers of oil, let's say into the pan and then I'm making it hot. It is very important that you don't put too many croquettes at the same time to fry, otherwise they will explode because the temperature of the oil will drop down and then they will explode. So in a pan like this, which is small, I would put like four maximum. Well, 
well, the croquettes are fried now. And as you can see, that this texture inside is creamy, nice, and delicious. I hope that you have enjoyed this recipe.